Scientists have broken new ground in the search to cure Alzheimer's. Researchers at Duke University have found a possible cause of the disease. This research may pave the way for new drug treatments. Dr. John LaPook is here to talk about this. Thanks for being here, John. So explain what the study found. Okay, this is hot off the press. Right. I, I just got off the phone with Matthew Kahn, who's an MD-PhD student, uh, and has a long list of authors, including Carol Colton, who, who Matthew says you know, has devoted her life to this. She's a professor of neurology at Duke and a PhD. And, and here, here's basically the idea. We've thought about, when you talk about Alzheimer's, about plaques and tangles. So plaques is this gooey stuff, substance, amyloid, that's on top of the nerve cells, on the top of the cells, damaging it maybe. And tangles is tau protein, abnormal protein inside of the cells. And we've been concentrating on this. And now they're looking at something new. Mm. So they're looking at these supportive cells called microglia that are inside the brain. <clears throat> they help to sort of support the surrounding neurons, for example. So what they have found is that these cells, this is in a mouse study, so again, it's not humans yet, right. but in a mouse study, that there's an increase of an enzyme called arginase that comes out of these microglial cells. And arginase lowers the level of an important amino acid called arginine. Mm. Arginine is important for the health of neurons, of nerve cells. So one of the thinking here, one of the thoughts here is that you're finding a molecular pathway that we hadn't thought about at all that might be important in the development of Alzheimer's disease. So does that mean then that people should be taking arginine well, supplements? Let's not get and there not yet. To your the answer is <laughs> going to be no. Yeah. <laughs> um, however, what they did then is they said, all right, if we block this enzyme, they were able to block the enzyme somehow with a substance, can you prevent the development of the memory loss and of the amyloid plaques in, and the, ner the nerve death in mice? Mm. And they were able to. Mm. So somehow, this arginine seems to be very important in maintaining the normal health of nerve cells. Now, when you look at humans, there's not a lot of human data, but one of the things that Matthew Kahn was telling me that, that was so interesting is that um, if you look at the hippocampus, which is the part of the brain where memory is, is functioning, the levels of arginine there are actually lower than in other parts of the brain. Hmm. So this may be a particularly susceptible part of the brain to low levels of arginine. So that leads to, you know, and then, and then there's also some evidence that arginase or the products that are downstream from arginase, but arginase activity may also be increased in when they do autopsy studies of people who have had Alzheimer's. All of this is going to be confusing to people, but the bottom line here is we've been thinking for so long about amyloid plaque and tau and that's it. And now we're saying, well, wait a second, let's look at these other funny cells, these microglia, they're important in immune function, they're important in maybe dampening down the immune function. Because if you get uh, a blow to your arm, uh, it can swell mm -hmm. and get inflamed. If you get a blow inside of your brain, there's not a lot of room for it to swell. <laughs> right. So there are important cells that My dampen parents down would argue the immune. Otherwise, right. when it comes to me, <laughs> swole, swole. <laughs> big head. Big head. <laughs> so these cells, these microglia, may be important in sort of throwing water on immune reaction. And anyway, as part of this, it puts out the arginase, or as in associated with the decreased immune function that it's trying to to be part of, uh, it puts out the arginase. The arginine levels go down, and it may end up leading to problems with the nerves. Now, you're asking, should we be taking arginine? And the answer is going to be that we haven't done the studies, but likely that's not going to be helpful. Why? Because you have this thing called the blood-brain barrier, right? So actually, arginine, I'm just reading, is actually actively transported into the brain hmm. to some degree. So you eat it. It does get it a little... It just goes right... Well, right into your stomach, well, right? <laughs> stomach gets absorbed into your bloodstream, then goes past tests to get past that blood-brain barrier. Right. Goes inside, but here's the problem. Even if you eat a lot of it, you have that arginase. Arginase is the enzyme, remember, from biology yep, yep, that sure. destroys, destroys arginine, all, right. this important amino acid. So if you have a lot of arginase it's at the gonna local... It's going to the arginase. And here's the word, Vlad. Think about this new word we're going to think about with, with Alzheimer's. Microenvironment. Microenvironment. The microenvironment of the cells, the nerves, the supporting cells, the neurons. What's going on? Nitty gritty inside, right at the level. Mm. If you've got a lot of arginase being pour, pouring out of these microglia cells and into the surrounding tissue, right where the nerves are, and it's lowering the level of arginine, and arginine is needed for the health of the nerve cells and the, and the, and the neurons the neurons might die. So that even if you eat a lot of arginine, it's just going to be destroyed by the arginase. Wow. Lots more study to be done. I asked them, are you doing studies to see if you can reverse the plaques, right. reverse the memory? You can prevent it. You can yeah. prevent the memory loss. 
and those are going on right now. So stay tuned. But in mice, they're still working. Mice are mice. The, the mice are are totally fine. They're doing better, well, living long. But what, when is when do you I, take the studies from the mice to the humans? Dennis Elko, a very important researcher with Amway, said. If men were mice, right. and people were mice, <laughs> I've cured forever. Alzheimer's in mice <laughs> right, no. a million times. But that's always the million dollar question. Thank you, we'll third year. <laughs> this is very interesting, exciting research, yet again coming out of Duke University. So uh, my hat's off to them. That's, it's very compelling and interesting research. Fascinating. Thank you so much, Dr. John LaPook. Appreciate it.